I persuaded tens of importers to participate in this project and they presented hundreds of wines for a perfect blind tasting. We selected precious 52 wines among them. Quiet on the nose, the sort of milk chocolate entry, mm. structured in the mouth, tannin, grippy. This is real wine, okay? Mm. I thought I picked up some cool green on the nose. It's got nice weight in the middle. The consumer who buys $10 wine wants this. True sweetness, not a sweetness from the fruit, not from American oak or whatever. A very nice wine. It's also oaky, smoky. It's very quincy. It seems to me it's, it's from Chile. Smelt a lots of blackberry and smoky with a good fruit. And the finish was long. Lots of cassis and quince was full of a black fruit and it was seriously good. Some green, the oak is really well done. Powerful, balanced. I thought it was a, a Bordeaux blend. It was the least sweet on entry, structured. It smelled a lot of a violet and it was very rosy, very powerful. Yeah. It was good. It feels me like a well-trained clown. <laughs> no, no, I'm with you. So it's worth the money. It's worth the money. Slightly sweet entry, lots of black currant on the nose. Grippy, it had the kind of tannin I would expect from Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Very quince, Swedish entry, it's expensive oak mm -hmm. and it shows. A very successful one, I like it a lot. There was a structure to it that took me to the old world. It's very silky and tannin so well integrated. Oh, it, it's, a it's a beautiful one. I thought it was run or run varieties. It shows really lots of blackberry and it's nice. I loved it. Tannins were well resolved, a little bit hot. I thought it was Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon. I liked it a lot. This is one of my recommended wines. Do you like it? I do. Me too. It's my highest score. It showed the longest, longest finish for me. It showed the Swedish entry, but it was getting drier. Full of spice and roses. I like this. It was very deep purple, tannic, but a soft tannin, full body. Full and round in the mouth. I liked it very much. Milk chocolate again on the nose. Easy entry on the palate. I like the structure and the finish. They show the smooth tannin, ripe tannin. Swedish entry and some grip. Mm -hmm. Fruit was slow, nice balance. I liked the one. I thought it was competent. Right. Extract, some chocolate, some grip, some stoniness, some gravel. Tannins are well resolved, medium finish. It smells lots of pins for me. Lots of, lots of uh, strawberry. Lots of cherry. Well, Quite nice cherry. in the mouth until the end. Anyway, I really like the wine. It's a decent Pinot Noir. The cassis, the blackcurrant characteristic is so pronounced for me. To, to me there was an elegance and a balance that some of them didn't have. It had lots of grip. I liked the finish. I thought it was a wine that was not trying to make a statement, just trying to be good. I liked it a lot. Is that what your favorite? Yeah, yeah. So what did you think it was? This one as well, Cabernet Sauvignon. Again? Yeah. From Chile, oh, okay. I think. It was very extracted. On the nose, it was dark fruits, very tannic. It just needs time, a very decent wine. I particularly loved the structure of it. Big but complex yeah. structure. Yeah. Very structured on the entry, mm -hmm. great fruit. Very, very concentrated. Yeah. I thought it was a Shiraz Cabernet blend from Australia. Good entry, lots of fruit. Fresh, round, like this. Yeah. Recommend more. Very little oak, very grippy. Lots of black fruit, a bit bitter, nice dry finish. Very nice wine. Yeah. It was complex, lots of date, and lots of cassis, fresh leather, and it was powerful, dry. Very strong character of black currant. Powerful, grippy, clean, balanced. I like it. Dried flowers, prunes, very tannic. Mm -hmm. Which we expect from Barolo. There's a bit of soda pop there, some coke. Very, very ripe, that's for sure. It's grippy, full, bold. It's lovely. No extract, but lots of alcohol, lots of dried flowers. Mm. So much grip, very powerful. This one is really good. This is very strawberry, raspberry. Just sweet on the nose. I don't know what it is, but I'll take 10 cases. Lovely wine. Really beautiful wine. I thought it was Bordeaux blend, but now we're talking at the top level. Chile yeah. yeah, it was very delicately made. It's a beautiful wine. I'm getting married. <laughs> I'm divorcing my wife and getting married to this wine.
It was the most complex. Yeah. It has body, and it has very nice smell of tropical fruit, leech. Very nice one. It's a little bit bland, but it's nicely balanced, good acidity, it's even slightly minerally. It's bloody good wine. Quite a complex wine, and it's got the body. It's a quite a spicy wine. Just a, a very nice wine. Lovely wine. Not complex, but just a lovely, easy drink. Yeah, it's even flinty and minerally and dry. It felt like a little brother. It's got great acid, mm -hmm. minerally. It's really, really nice. It was very sophisticated, very delicate. Yeah, this one for sure knows what it wants to be when it grows up. The balance between oak and malolactic fermentation, I like it here. It's got some weight, it's got beautiful acidity. Yeah, it's a very, very nice wine. It's a serious Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, no, no, it's very, very serious. I smell lots of pipi de chat. <laughs> no, I correct it. Mooseberry. It had the best mousse at the time. Tiny little bubbles look beautiful in this glass. Mm -hmm. A little bit of apples on the nose. The yeast autolysis. Mm -hmm. Freaking delicious. I thought it was very good. It might be Charmat wine. Very clean. Dry as well. Very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. It's quite pinky. In any event, extremely good wine. It had a small bead, so Method Champagne was. Uh, very autolytic, champagne-like. It was sweetish on the entry for me, mm -hmm. but again, very biscuity. I thought uh, they used lots of reserve wine. That created the complexity. Yeah. When I smelled, I went straight to brioche and uh, yeah, bread. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful wine. It's a complete wine. A complete wine. What a compliment. It was very complex. Champagne, brioche. This is an oaked wine. It's just beautiful. Dryish on the entry. The connoisseurs will understand it more, but everybody will enjoy it. It showed a beautiful raspberry. The texture was nice. It's a bit sweet, but nicely sweet. It was good. It was good. Very autolytic, very champagne, very complex. Quite dry on entry. And then very full in the mouth. Balanced, round. Just delicious. 제가 선정하는 와인들 잘 구매해서 즐기고 계시나요? 여러분들께서 구하시기 편한 와인들 추천해 드리고자 우리나라에 수입되고 있는 와인들만 모아서 맛을 보고 그 중에서 가성비가 제일 좋은 와인들만 권해드리고 있습니다. 여러분들의 편의를 위해서 와인킹스픽에 선정된 와인들을 CU 어플인 포켓 CU를 통해서 구매하실 수 있도록 CU 측의 협조를 구하고 있으니 한번 이용해 보셔도 좋을 것 같습니다. 현재는 어플로 주문하고 전국 CU 점포 어디서나 픽업을 하실 수가 있는 스마트 오더 시스템이고요. 8월 초부터는 예약 없이도 CU 편의점 매장에서 바로 구매할 수 있는 와인들이 점점 많이 생긴다고 합니다. 가까이 있는 매장에 해당 와인의 재고가 있는지 없는지를 모르시는 경우에는 포켓 CU 어플의 첫 화면에서 재고 조회 기능을 활용하면 좋다고 합니다. 가까운 지역에 해당 와인 재고를 조회한 뒤에 재고가 있으면 은 거기에 찾아가서 구매하실 수가 있답니다. 주위에 와인킹 스픽 와인들이 들어와 있는 CU 편의점이 없다고요? 그럼 해당 점주분들께 와인킹 선정 와인 좀 갖다 놔 달라고 부탁을 해 보세요. 아직까지는 와인 같은 거 굳이 구비해야 돼 라고 생각하시는 분들이 많기 때문에 여러분들께서 부탁하시면 은 갖다 놓으실 수도 있습니다. 여러분들께서 무엇을 원하는지 점주분들도 아셔야 와인을 비치해 놓을 수가 있겠죠? 그럼 즐거운 와인 생활 즐기세요.